I often find uh, sets of rods sitting in uh, storerooms or the back of classrooms. Often they look a little bit like this, maybe the colour's gone out of them a little bit. I just thought we'd uh, demonstrate a couple of ideas with rods just to show that they're still a very good uh, maths manipulative. On the right hand side here you might have noticed that we've got uh, a little staircase. I call this a white step staircase because the gap between each piece is a white piece and you see it build up there and so forth. I tend to avoid linking the colours with numbers because later on when we want to use uh, this material for fraction work we have to rename them. So in this case here if we give this white rod this flat surface a value of 1 uh, then that red rod would have a value of 2, that flat surface and the green rod would have a value of 3 and so forth and this rod here at the very end, this orange one, would have a value of 10. So a question or a task I like children to try and work through is what would be the area of just that flat part of that staircase so across there? That'll keep them busy for a little while and involves quite a bit of thinking. But what we'd like to do is just focus with these jumbo rods here about why it is that we don't want to give specific uh, numbers to the colours of the rods. I always like to use what's called an if-then statement. So here we have a brown rod. All right. In this previous one with the uh, staircases, this would have a value of 8 if we gave the white rod a value of 1. In this case here, I'm going to say that this whole brown rod has a value of 1. In which case, these rods here, you have two equal pieces, they would be half. And when they've got to these red rods, they would represent one fourth. And when you get to these white rods, there's eight equal rods that would fit along there. Each one of them would represent one eighth. So you can start to see how we can do some fraction ideas with this material. Let's just take one idea. I'm just going to separate these pieces across here. And what you will see is that represents a half, two fourths represents a half, and four eighths represents a half. So they would be examples of equivalent fractions. So there's just one idea that if we make good use of our manipulatives, we can get a number of different concepts out.